Good morning, this is Pete with the Small Business Resource Center.com and the Small Business Resource Center YouTube channel. Of course, if you're in Pennsylvania, you probably either know somebody who has a small business, support small businesses, or you might be one yourself. And this is a very important message, not just for people in Pennsylvania, but for people in other states that have issues. Governor Wolf, of course, he just mandated that Friday night, all the bars are supposed to be closed and restaurants, excuse me, with liquor licenses also, and they cannot be open till January 4th. Before that, we had 25% occupancy requirements, which this is really, really unnecessary. There's safe and fair guidelines that could be followed. Um, you got to keep in mind, Walmart, places like that, they are allowed to be open. They follow safety rules and everything's fine. But for the small business owners, they're shutting all of them down. And sadly, a lot of small businesses have actually went under. You may not know because, of course, they're not putting up big signs or something. But small business owners are being bled dry and they do have, yeah, the Paycheck Protection Program. They also have the SBA EIDL loan and the $10,000 IDLE. If you saw my channel and you've seen my other videos, you'll realize that I have mentioned many a times the SBA programs are, are designed to help businesses, but they're set up like loan programs. So if you're a small business owner, there's so many ways you would not get approved for these loans and they're treated like loans, even though some of them are like the $10,000 EIDL grant and basically you don't qualify and now things get bad until you just run out of money or decide to close yourself. And then when you're looking at 25% occupancy, a restaurant can't survive off of that. Most of them understand that. So to the point, now that you understand the big problem, if you did not understand the problem, share this video with every restaurant person, even small business people you know, and if they have a liquor license especially, they need to support this. Uh, Taste of Italy that does not have a liquor license, they had got sued because they refused to close their doors. They're in Palmyra, Pennsylvania. They won their lawsuit, so they did not get in trouble. They're following safe rules, but they what they aren't doing is they aren't shutting down. Also, there's a place called the Tunnelton Inn, and they're in Indiana County at Salzburg. <clears throat> Basically, they refused to close. The LCB suspended their liquor license. Then they realized that they could not do that. They let them have their liquor license back. This place is still in operation. And right now, there's a verified statement of interest that you can sign to support them, especially if you have a liquor license. Because what this is saying is Governor Wolf's mandate is not legal and it's hurting businesses. So you will not get in trouble to sign this. Even if you got a, a any type of funding from the government and you're worried that something might happen, this is non-binding. And if you're worried, you should at least look at this and review it before you say, I'm not going to do it because I don't want to get in trouble. The, they're going to court for you. You are not. You don't have to show up, but this is a statement saying that you realize that this is a problem and you're supporting these small businesses. And then if these big businesses are allowed to open, your small business should be allowed to open too, safely and fairly, without the restrictions that are causing businesses to go under. Many people with liquor licenses are struggling. They're expensive things to own, and even a small business is expensive to own. Let's not kid ourselves. But when you're not able to sell, that's the problem. They don't have Walmart at 25% occupancy. You should not be restricted either. So these are your rights. I'm going to put two links in the description to come to contact Gumba. They're the people that started this and eat. They're the people that are helping with the lawsuit. You don't have to show up. All you have to do is sign this. If you don't have a printer or you want this done quickly, I have DocuSign. I'll be happy to fill it out. Just comment below or I'll put my email too. Um, and you could just, actually, I'll put my phone number too. I'm going to put my email, phone number in the description, and the two contacts for Facebook for the companies that are doing this. However you want to set this up, um, they will like all these by Monday the 14th, but court is on the 18th. Even if it's the 19th, and that's when you can get it done, get it in, then get it back to the attorneys. All the information is going to be in the description for this video. If you need help getting this filled out, 
and signing it, we can do it online and I will send it to the right people for you. Well, this is Pete with the Small Business Resource Center. Support your local businesses. Tonight's the, the last night that they may be open for the end of the year, but this lawsuit could fix everything. So check it out. Support small businesses. Share this with anyone with a small business and a liquor license and have a great day. I wish I had good news today, but this might be good news after they win in court on the 18th.